Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a keychain of this grumbly cold tremor. Let's get started. Now for this keychain, I'm going to be using this shrink film and this is transparent shrink film and this is what a sheet of it looks like. I also printed out a picture of a rock that I'm going to be using since tremor has to do with rocks and earthquakes and things like that. I'm not going to print the eyes of this. I'm just going to print the shape on the outside. Now I put a piece of shrink film on top of the rock so, and I can see right through it. I'm just going to trace around it with a dark gray marker. Now I'm just tracing out the big rock. I'm not including the two small rocks at the bottom. So I'm just drawing a line where I think the big rock would end. Now I also traced the lines at the bottom halfway up because Tremor is going to cover most of them, but I still wanted it to have a 3D look. Then I put the picture of Tremor in between the shrink film and the rock. I left space at the top because that's where I'm going to punch the hole out. I had to put the light on my tracing pad on because I wasn't able to see the lines at the top very well. Later on, I'm going to go over these lines again with a black Sharpie. Next, I colored in Tremor's eyes with a black Sharpie. And when I was finished doing that, I used my dark gray marker again, just to go over his eyelids. Now his eyelids have a really cool design, but I skipped the design because it was a little hard to see and it was a little too complicated. So I just colored them in gray. Then I used a greenish blue marker just to color in his eyes. Now around Tremor's mouth is light green. Now for some reason the light colors don't show up very well on my camera and as you can see my hand is kind of covering it, but that's what color I made it, light green. Here I'm using my dark gray Sharpie again just to color in his nostrils and the lines on his face that give him that angry look. Now around his teeth, Tremor has dark pink gums and so that's just what I'm doing here. I'm using my dark pink marker to shade in his gums. I used my bright red marker to color in his tongue and as you'll see later on in this clip, I used my dark gray marker just to color in the middle a little bit to give it more dimension. I finished coloring in his mouth by shading in all the parts that are supposed to be dark with my black Sharpie. Now it's time to color in his hair and for that I'm using this yellowish greenish neon marker that looks like the color of his hair. Tremor's fur on the side is dark green so for that I'm using my dark green marker just using like little brush strokes to kind of make it look more like fur. Here I'm just coloring the little spikes or tufts of fur that he has sticking out all over him. The light ones that you see in the picture are supposed to be like this light kind of green, light shade of green. And then the darker ones, as you'll see later on, I color in black. Now it's time to color in the main part of Tremor's body, which is bright green. So for that, I'm using my bright green Sharpie here. Finally, once I finished coloring the green, it was time to add the black spikes. Once I finished coloring all the spikes, I went over the lines on the rock again with the black marker this time because once I color in my rock gray, these gray lines will not really show up. Now it's time for the final coloring that I had to do. Again, I'm using my dark gray marker just to color in my rock before it's time to put Tremor in the oven.
I'm getting near the end here. I'm just coloring the last little piece of rock and then it'll be time to unclip him from this tracing pad and punch a hole in the top of him. Wait, did I forget to mention the cutting? Of course, I have to cut him out first before I punch a hole in him. Punching the hole comes next. Now it's time to punch the hole. So I just punched the hole right above his hair. Then it'll be time to bake him. If you're a child, please ask the grown-up for help with the baking. Once Tremor had baked and cooled, I added a keychain to him. And this kind of keychain you actually need two pliers and C rings for, but this keychain on the right called a ball chain keychain you do not need any pliers for. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, post in the comments, and please don't forget to share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on any of the videos you see in front of you. Thanks for watching.